One viewer wants to know, if salvation is free, then why does it cost us everything? Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. Onward Christian Soldiers. I always say this, but it's always true. Every time I hold one of our mugs, it's one of my favorites. Drinking some Headbangers Brew in there. Our own coffee. And uh, folks, you can find all these things right here. We are metalwearefamily.com. Dear Pastor Bob, is salvation and discipleship the same thing? Some say that salvation is freely given, but in order to receive it, it will cost us our lives. That sounds contradictory and confusing. I thought Jesus gives eternal life for free by simply believing and trusting in him. Does salvation precede discipleship? Or is salvation a lifelong process? I ask because some say that we receive salvation at the end of our lives when we get to heaven. Is this biblical? Well, we're struggling with some terms here. Salvation, discipleship, very different. Discipleship is the process of teaching the Word of God and the, the Christian life to other people. Actually, it's teaching other people how to teach other people. That's discipleship, making disciples, training them. Salvation is when we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. And the Bible says at that point that he comes in and he comes into us. The Holy Spirit lives inside of us and we are connected as a child of God. It is freely given, but the Bible also says it'll cost us, cost us sometimes our lives. And there are things worth fighting for. There are things worth believing that do cost us our lives. Look at all the wars that man has fought. Why? Because somebody believed in something and fought for it. Um, so many examples of this, you know, a father protecting his family and in that protection lost his own life. There are some things that mean something to us that will cost us our lives because we live in that kind of world where people hate Christians. Some people do. And people will hate you sometimes for what you believe. So is the Christian life simply believing and trusting in him? Does salvation precede discipleship? We talked about that. But is it believing and trusting in him? Yeah. In fact, the Bible says that the, when we receive him as our personal savior and believe in him, and the word believe means to trust in him, to rely on him, to cling to him. There's a relationship going on there. When we do that, he gives us eternal life. Is salvation a lifelong process? No, it's an instantaneous thing. There are two words that are important here, and they're, they're little longer words, but I'll explain them to you. Salvation, we just talked about. It's a free gift. When it's given, it's given. When you receive a Christmas gift, for instance, the moment you receive it and it's in your hand, it's yours from then on. That's what he says. It's a gift. It's a gift to you. So salvation, and then there there is a... a another process that we go through called sanctification. Sanctification is the process in our Christian lives, the process of growth, and it doesn't go like that. It goes like this, but hopefully it goes from here to here. But it's the process of growth, and that's working out our Christian lives every single day, and that is ongoing, but salvation is free. Justification. You are justified in Jesus Christ. That's instantaneous as well. It happens at the same point. You are just as justified, if I can say that, 
You are just as saved at the very moment you begin as you are when you end. It's a free gift. It's given to you. So you don't have to wait till the end of your life. If you connect with Jesus Christ, you know where you're going. If he becomes your Lord and your Savior, and you have that relationship with him because of it, you know where you're going. Eternity doesn't start when you die. Eternity begins when you accept Jesus as your personal Savior. That's what is biblical. So, great question. Thank you. Philippians chapter 3 is where I'd like to go. Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. It says, But whatever former things I had that might have been gains to me, I, I come to consider as lost for Christ's sake. Yes, furthermore, I count everything as loss compared to the possession of the priceless privilege, the, the overwhelming preciousness, the, the su surpassing worth, the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord and of progressively becoming more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, of perceiving, of recognizing, of understanding him more fully and more clearly. For his sake, I have lost everything and consider it all to be mere rubbish in order that I may win Christ, the anointed one. So we do leave things behind, but we leave them behind because they're no longer important. It's a new life in Jesus Christ. Folks, don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing. Hello, Metal family. So I'm excited for the next Immortal Fest. Such great bands, such great people. I hope you're going to be one of them. I'll be there hosting both events this summer. Really excited to spend time with the bands and to spend time with you. Sunday at the first event on the 28th of July will be the Sanctuary Day. We're going to have a service. We're going to have our worship team. We're going to have some special guests. We're going to have a good time. And I hope that you plan to come and some surprises still to come too. So both events, 1st of July, 26th to 28th, and the other the first week of September. Great bands, great time together, family time. We are metal, we are family. I hope to see you there.